At this time, we're going to go to prayer. We're going to ask Brother James to lead. He would come and offer a word of prayer for the family. Her husband is known 
in the gates, when he sitteth among the elders of the land, she maketh fine linen and selleth it, and delivereth girdles unto the merchant. Strength and honor are her clothing, and she shall rejoice in time to come. She openeth her mouth with wisdom, and in her tongue is the law of kindness. She looketh well to the ways of her household, and eateth not the bread of idleness. Her children arise up, and call her blessed. Her husband also, and he praised her. Many daughters have done virtuously, but thou excellest them all. Favor is deceitful, and beauty is vain. But a woman that feareth the Lord, she shall be praised. Give her the fruit of her hands, and let her own words praise her in the gates. For the New Testament reading, will be in Luke chapter 2, verses 25 through 28. And behold, a certain lawyer stood up and tempted him, saying, Master, what shall I do to inherit eternal life? He said unto him, what is written in the law? How readest thou? And he answering said, Thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, and with all thy soul, and with all thy strength, and with all thy mind, and thy neighbor as thyself. And he said unto him, Thou hast answered right. This do, and thou shalt live.
Now we'll have the reading of the obituary, also acknowledgments and condolences by Ariel Ross. You should come at this time. Melanie Jo Burton Clark, 67, of Springfield, Ohio, Hi. went to be with the Lord on Friday afternoon, March 27, 2020. The eldest child of Harlan and Marlene Burton, Melanie was born in Springfield on August 15, 1952. Melanie attended Elmwood Elementary School. Schaefer Middle School and graduated valedictorian from South High School in 1970. Four years later, she received her bachelor's degree in education from Wittenberg University. In 2012, she received her master's degree from her alma mater. Melanie had a happy childhood. She had 14 siblings. Melanie was eight years old when she gave her heart to the Lord. Her father was a minister, and it was a highlight for Melanie to attend many camp meetings, tent meetings, and revivals. Her mother played the piano and taught her children to sing in harmony. Melanie's sister Jill usually sang soprano. Her mother sang alto, and she usually sang high tenor. They started singing together when she and Jill were 13 and 15, respectively. The first place they sang as a trio was at a camp meeting near beautiful Paradise, Montana. Sometimes her father would join, and eventually the four sang as a quartet, recording two albums, Keep Trusting and Where Jesus Is, Is Heaven. Melody also known as Sister Mel, was given to hospitality. She helped many people. She would not just, quote, feed a person, but she would, quote, teach them how to fish. She was generous, loving, and encouraging. Melanie enjoyed throwing birthday parties and celebrating accomplishments. Her home was always a warm place to congregate her friends and family near and far. The kitchen smelling of her famous homemade rolls and cherry pie. Melanie was a devoted choir director at the Church of God Grand Avenue. She took her role seriously and wanted to edify the saints in song. She was a devoted Sunday school and vacation Bible school teacher. A lover of education, she also taught English at Bridgewood Elementary School. Always carrying an ink pen, she was ready and willing to help edit and correct papers and assignments. In addition to teaching, she ran the Women's Network, developed a mentoring program, Breakfast Buddies, and partnered with her husband to develop the Empowering Our Youth After School Program and the Little Scholars Preschool Program. Melanie and her wonderful husband were happily married for 41 years. To this union were born Melissa Jeanette, Melinda Joy, Megan Julianne, Christopher Charles, Chad Christian, and Charlton Craig. She loved her children and pushed them to succeed. Her sons had an extra special place in her heart. Melanie is preceded in death by her husband of 41 years, Charles Clark. Her parents, Harlan and Marlene Burton, and two sisters, Jill Forbes and Bethany Burton. She leaves to cherish her memory, her children, Melissa, James Silly, Jackson, Michigan, Melinda Clark, Springfield, Ohio, Megan Clark, Springfield, Ohio, 
Christopher Clark and his fiance Ariel Ross in Columbus, Ohio. Chad Clark, Springfield, Ohio. Charlton Clark, Springfield, Ohio. Her grandchildren, Caitlin, Kristen, Kendra, Kyle, Kelsey, Caleb, and Caden Salee. And her siblings, Harlan, Eric, Carrie Burton, Pamela Jones, Paula, Terry Miller, Jonathan, Sylvia Burton, Celeste, Kelvin, Gaskins, Thomas Burton, Rhoda Linton, David Debbie Burton, Joel Marlena Burton, Angela Zach Jr. Coaston, Charles Burton, and Peter Della Burton, in addition to numerous nieces, nephews, aunts, uncles, cousins, mentees, students, friends, and all her church family. Sister Mel's advice to all is, quote, do give Christ your life when you are young. Let him direct your steps into many wonderful, rewarding experiences.
We know that it has been hard for Sister Melanie and the family since the passing of Brother Charles, her companion of 41 years. We thought after retirement that they would grow old together, and now they are together with the Lord. Sister Melanie was a remarkable woman, and she made a difference in the lives of so many people in the church and in the world. We can only offer you some words of comfort. Psalm 116, verse 15. Precious in the sight of the Lord is the death of his saints. Sister Melanie was truly a precious saint of God, and we love her. We know that the Lord will sustain you during this difficult time. Lean on him and hold on to his unchanging hand. Submitted by the Grand Avenue Church of God Ministry, Board of Trustees and Congregation. <clears throat> Acknowledgements. The children of Melanie Clark wish to thank